Hi, I'm Darius from Don Optics Parts, and today we're doing a teardown of the brand new DJI Mavic Air 2. To start off, we will be removing the battery, the camera gimbal guard, and the bottom panel. After that's done, removing the bottom panel gives us access to the motherboard. But before we start to work on the motherboard, we will first remove most of the frame screws as well as the camera gimbal so it won't be in the way. Keep in mind that any parts you see in the video can be found on our website. To remove the camera gimbal, you need to disconnect the two connectors from the motherboard and remove the six screws holding the gimbal down. Changing to a Phillips head screwdriver, we will now remove all the screws and connectors from the motherboard. After that's done, we can now remove the bottom vision board. There are plastic clips holding the motherboard down and it will require a little bit of wiggling to get it out. Moving on to the frame, we need to remove the front plastic cover to reveal two more frame screws. There are also two screws in the back of the drone that will require a longer screwdriver to reach. You should now be able to pop open the frame at the rear. Moving on to the front, there are two more frame screws behind these plastic covers. By removing them, the top shell of the drone should be free and with some careful fiddling with a guitar pick and a plastic prying tool, it should just pop off. For the GPS and IMU boards, we will remove the screws holding them to the frame. The screws are also holding metal tabs that need to be removed in order to undo the connectors. Then by removing the four silver screws, we will separate GPS from IMU. Keep in mind though, IMU screws are different from the rest so don't lose them. Next off, front vision module. It should already be disconnected and will only need the two screws to be undone. Now it's time for the power and ESC board. Carefully desolder all the wires connected to it. Keep in mind the frame, as it's very easy to accidentally melt it with your soldering iron. To keep things tidier, I recommend pulling out the antenna cables after finishing up with the wires from the front arms. When soldering is done, remove these four screws as well as the metal tab with the connector to remove the board. And now onto the legs of the drone. To take the front legs out, you will need to remove the screw holding the rotation shaft in place. Then flip the drone and push it through. To take the rear legs off, you will need to undo two screws at the bottom of each leg. For the rotation shaft, unscrew the four screws holding it to the frame. I would also like to let you know that all our profits go to charity. We are currently supporting Operation Mobilization. For more details, check out the description below. And finally, the rear vision sensor. It has a ribbon cable glued to the frame, so start by peeling it off. But be careful, these ribbons are prone to breaking. To finish removing the part, just unscrew the screws and pull it off. And to finish off, there is one more ribbon cable glued to the frame. If you wish to disassemble the legs as well, the front ones have three screws on the bottom bit and one behind the plastic. Opening this up reveals the screws for the motor removal. It also gives access to the antenna that can be removed by desoldering these two spots. 
Propeller quick release plates can be removed by taking these two screws off. For the rear leg, just open it with a guitar pick or a plastic prying tool. I hope you found this guide useful. If you're looking for repairs, parts or accessories for your drone, please check out our website at droneoptics.repair where we stock parts for all DJI's as well as Parrot and Unic drones.